Hi, families, and hey, kiddos. So um, I know that Pastor Neil has made a video um, about our prayer and fasting that's coming up March 1st, but I wanted to have a second just to talk to kiddos. So kids, I know in the past we've spent some time talking about fasting and what that looks like and, and families. I, I know that every family, things will look different of what your family will decide um, to fast and, and how that looks in each home. And that is such a great thing to make it specific to your family. So what I would like to do is just take a minute and give you a couple of ideas um, of things that you can do. It's so important as a family to discuss this. And even if you have younger kids, it's still a great um, biblical principle to teach to your children from a young age. And so even as the kids are older, it's still great for them to be um, in the conversation of what this will look like for your family. So I have two very simple things to make this an easy way for the kids to understand the fast. So hopefully in your home, you have two different cups. If you don't have cups, if you have two separate plates or two separate somethings, baggies, anything, and you will make a give up cup or plate or bag or pile and a fill up cup. So the idea behind these is that we're going to look at things that we are going to give up during the 21 days of fasting. And with the things that we give up, what are we going to fill ourselves up with? Now that's not fill up ourselves, that means fill up with God. How are we going to do things to fill up with God? Because the whole point of a fast is that we're growing closer to God. So what I've done is I thought of a couple suggestions for you guys and kiddos, these are just a couple of things. Now I know you may see them and think, oh my word, I can't do that. But the idea of the give up and the fill up cup is each morning you would come to the cup, pull out one of the strips of paper and for that day, that's what you would give up. So I wrote things like sugar and sweets so candies and biscuits and all those things. Your favorite toy, that for one day, you'd give up your favorite toy. Movies, TV, tablet, computer, any of those kinds of things. Cool drinks, sodas, all of those kinds of things. And video games. Now, this may not be a part of your family, but for some of us, we use these things every day. So what it is, is for that day, you would give up whatever card you pulled out, okay, just for that day. And so you would give up that for the day, but then you're gonna be filling up with something. So here are the different things that I've come up with. Now there's tons more that you can do. And so if you need some extra ideas, feel free to contact me, to email me, to call the church office. I'd be happy to help you. But here are some that I came up with. Listen to worship music that you could spend some time listening to some worship music. Sit outside and pray. Make an encouragement card for someone and pray for them. Draw a picture of a Bible story. Read a Bible story. Make a list of things that you're thankful for and draw or write your prayer request. So again, these are just a couple of suggestions. So what it would look like, kiddos, is you would each morning get up, you'd pull out, okay, today I'm gonna give up video games. Okay, for Auntie Danielle, that's not really that hard, but hey, for some, it might be hard, video games. And for today, I'm gonna fill up with reading a Bible story. So then I would put these back in or leave them to the side until I've worked through all the ones in the cups and then continue to do it for the 21 days. Now also as a resource parents, um, I'll be sending out in the MailChimp um, and posting with our church a 21 day prayer calendar for families. And so on each day, there's a little, there's a little sentence or two about something you can be praying for in a scripture verse. So my prayer for you as families is that this would be a time that you would grow together, no matter the age of your child or children, that this would be a time where individually the kids will grow closer to the Lord, but also you as a family will grow closer to the Lord. God bless, and I can't wait to hear what God's going to do.